Queen, and welcome back, everyone, to our Let's Play of the Canadian, Canadian Powerful People, where, in the last episode, everyone, we became a great power, and officially are starting to make our own mark on the world. I mean, we already are bigger than the uh, Ottoman Empire. Not really considered an empire anymore, I don't think, at this point, but we are now starting to make our own name in the world. Um, our last episode, we had a little mini crisis evolve about the Polish independence, and the Canadians have officially put their, their stance down, saying that we will not support any free, we will not support any of the sovereign nations. We will not support any of the freeing of any sovereign nation. We will try to always make the borders and the balance of power the same as it always has been. Okay? So, excellent! Okay. Anyways, now that we got that off my chest, um, we got a couple of good expanding factories, which is good. That means work is going to be, you know, accelerated. And we need to start really building more and more factories in our place because we're honestly a big, gigantic country and we don't have any real factories or any real anything. So we have to, you know, we should probably build up a lot. So I'm just going to try to invest in as many factories that pop up over here because I yeah, this, we should be able to buy up all of the storeroom goods. And, as you know, everyone, the scramble for Africa is vastly approaching. Um, I can't quite colonize any of these regions, but it's vastly approaching. Um, hopefully this will be enough range. Let me see. Let me see. Will this be enough range to reach these places? Um, naval range, shoot. Okay, what about right here? Could I colonize this little island right here? Midway Island. Could I colonize this? Nope. Thanks a lot, Hawaii, for not building your own stupid naval port. Well, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna build, once we get analytical philosophy, then we'll start on our, speaking of which, um, here, I'm gonna start, instead of encouraging builders now, I'm gonna encourage, um, what is it called? Clergymen. Because we need to start getting up. Because I don't think our population is the max of what it needs to be for optimal efficiency. Yeah, we are. We have to at least be at 2.0 clergymen and clerks to be at a good optimal rate. So we're going to try to start increasing that. I mean, it's going to increase pretty quickly because we have a very small population. And this kind of thing is not easy. It's not, like, hard to do. Because this, like, in Canada, this is our most populated area. See? Look at that. And then over here is just, I mean, this is green. And Hawaii is green, and then all these other places are green. Is Malaysia green? No, it actually does have some markings, but if you look at the world map, this is all green. Like, we have some industrial score going on in Toronto and Canada. Um, I wish we could also get some more in Vancouver, but I think we're going to have to wait to grow the Vancouver Canucks. Okay. And, yeah, that's basically it. We're just going to, like I said, we're still just kind of chilling. But we are almost, we're getting almost ready for our, for our, um, Korean campaign. We definitely have enough soldiers now, I think, to go on Korea's, to go on Korea's bad side. And, oh, I think it's finally time, everyone. Oh, okay. So Mexico is our first speared nation ever. Canada has officially had its own first speared nation. And apparently we are 20th in the world in terms of po power. We are barely on the edge of power, but we're still in power. So, um, don't know if that's a good sign or a bad. Um, see, I don't have enough money to, like, start supporting all these other nations in there. Oh, and guess what, everyone? The source of the Nile was discovered by, guess what? The Canadians! So our internal explorers have napped out the source of the Nile and have brought glory and prestige to our great country. And what up? We just went to 239 prestige. That means I think we just gained. Yep. <laughs> we took, we basically outshot the Austrians and the Italians in that. And are now almost as equal to the Russians. Not in terms of anything else but prestige. Uh, we're kind of that snoop, again, I compare it to like the snoobest kid on the block that talks about how great he is, but... Really, when it comes down to it, we really aren't that great. But who cares? We're Canada. Damn it. Mm. Mm. All right. So we got Colombia. Colombia, we are also adding to our sphere for um, the Panama Canal. 
But like I said, I'm not gonna do the old conquest that I did last time. Mm. Mm. And you know, it's always good, everyone. This is a YouTube. This is a good YouTube tip. Always have water somewhere nearby. This water always helps you out. And apparently, my economy is having a little bit of trouble supporting itself. Probably because we have some kind of bad factory. I'm guessing some factory is not making enough money for us, and it's really costing us a lot. Um, I think it's because of the steel. Yeah, the steel is going to cost us a lot if we don't get that dealt with at some point. But our infamy is slowly starting to go down, but it's not quite to the point where we need to be. And hopefully, Korea will not nationalize or get a big enough alliance with some big party to do anything about. Because that would be really bad. That would be really bad. Um, now, China is still like the big gigantic power. We still don't have enough power to do anything with them. And once we get analytical philosophy, then I think we'll be able to start... Okay, so we just got minimum life reading. Does that mean we can start... Uh... Mm. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, the only thing holding us back... Oh, yes! Okay, so we got our first colony. We're starting to do our Micronesia conquest. Um, we just got our first little colony. Maybe we can get Battle of Midway. Or oh, not the Battle of Midway. Midway. Okay, yes, we can get Midway. So we're starting to colonize Micronesia. And apparently... Okay, so apparently this reaches all the way over there. Wow. Well, that's really good. That helps us out. Anything over here we can actually colonize? Nope. Yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to work. But we're going to colonize all this place. So we're just starting our Micronesia Empire. It's kind of cool. Um, seems like France has also started its own little empire expanding, but I don't think they're as great. Like, we have all... They may have all of Africa probably lined up. Like, let's see how Africa's doing. Uh, definitely France has more in Africa than we do, but... Mm. Ah, we will have... Oh! And a Portland of bananas. What? Me, my say, Lord, the banana boat. All night long. Uh, day, day de la, I want to go home. With the exciting of our colonial ventures, goods previously unknown to the general public has increasingly been shipped overseas to be enjoyed back home. A banana boat has just docked in one of our harbors, and our citizens marvel at the sweetness and strange look at the amazing new fruit previously unknown to the Canadian public as it has been unloaded on the on the crate load. People are quite literally going bananas. Oh, the banana boat song. It is Bonanza. I just ruined that joke. But, wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. So, apparently we're now starting to like... Okay, so... I'm trying to know how these regions work. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to colonize the Bosnian regions. Okay. Well, we... We just need to make sure this expands. Uh, dang. Timber? Really? Okay, our entire country is basically made of timber. How are we not getting timber to them? I mean, literally, our entire country is just made of, like, look. Look at that. Our entire country is just basically timber. How are we not getting timber to these guys? Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to talk to our supplier about things to do and a Pacific scandal. What? After conservative message has been voted into a majority in the parliament in 1872, mm. charges were levied against John A. McDonald of the most serious nature. McDonald's pet project has been the Transcontinental Railway, and the Liberals administration charged that Sir Rufflin has given his campaign funds in exchange for a guaranteed contract with this company, Canadian Pacific. Despite McDonald's claim of instance, he was forced to resign as Prime Minister. Donald A. Smith's lack of confidence in McDonald's only further contributed to the client of the party's popularity. So, McDonald must resign. Or, no, McDonald will continue as Prime Minister. Um, but we want to cons we want to make the Liberals... Yeah, no, McDonald will continue as Prime Minister. Because we cannot live without burgers in our country. That is the that is the Canadian way right there. Mm. Okay, and another crisis. Whatever. Okay, so another crisis has been foreboded. 
And what do we need for... No, not machine armament. I'm trying to remember what we need exactly for colonial negotiations. I think we already have colonial negotiations. I'm just trying to think, though. Are we sure we have colonial negotiations? Discovery, armament, economic responsibility, those... I don't know. I, yeah, I think we already have colonial negotiations, so that's not a problem. Um, what do we want next? Now that we have a new round of things. Um, supply lines might be good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Electrical. Hmm. So many things. Well, I think we should, like, make sure we have at least tier 3 technology. And no, we will not support the, the Polish in their efforts. And... Letal no, I'm just, you know what, this is a different let's play than my, uh, French one. So, you know what, I'm just gonna call it by what it is. The news of the world. Not, just, not as fun as the title, though. Just, just, it's just not. I, I keep trying to make it more fun, but it's not. Okay, and the crisis has been given up. Good. You guys should know your place. Casually sip my tea. That's all I need right now, is just get some casually sipping my tea. And apparently I'm expanding on those two islands. That's really good. Um, I don't know how I'm doing that, but I'm expanding those two islands. Um, and apparently I can make some states already. The Kimbai states. Okay. So. Okay, let's go over here. Because this is all confusing about how these islands work. Create the protectorate. Create the protectorate. Okay, and Colombia, I think, has now been added into the... Colombia has now been added into the uh, sphere of the of the uh, Canadians, and so we're just gonna try to just take out as many nations as we can. Next is Venezuela, Venezuela. Let's get Venezuela next. I think it might be Venezuela. <laughs> okay, build the Panama. Oh, we can only build the Panama Canal. Oh yeah, yes. Okay, and then there's this, which is a cultural and ideological. Avatars within our country has, during the last few years, been undertaking a long march to our academic institutions. By steadily working that oh no, I know what this is. This is gonna increase like my cultural, but it's gonna like decrease. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm waiting for sea power still, which I have to get. How many? What do I have to do? I have to get more than a hundred in terms of sea power, and hmm, and tycoon, hmm. I have to have at least 30 ships. That's going to be quite hard for us. And so I have colonized, I think these little islands right here. Yeah, I colonized those little islands right there. So, woohoo! Canada's expansion, which is actually pretty good. So does that mean I can colonize right over here? No. Okay, does that mean I can build some ships over here? Okay, because I'm going to build like a couple docks. Just so I can actually go over there. And... Wow, so we have done our first colonial conquest! Yay! And Canada and... I mean, French and Netherlands are fighting over New Ghana. New Guinea, sorry. And... It's kind of an interesting fight, and... Apparently... Oh, no way! No way! I can make a protectorate out of the Hawaiian Islands! Wait, no. Not those Hawaiian. Okay. Okay, where the heck is this? Is this over here? Is this... I think it's this one over here. The Midway Island. Okay. Create a protectorate. Yay! We now have our island. Yes! Okay, so now we have some of our Micronesia Empire. Um, anything else we can kind of stick away or keep away? I don't think we can because Hawaii... Hawaii's major port isn't big enough because... Does it still need timber? It still needs timber. Why are we not exporting timber? You idiots. Oh my goodness. So if I, if I get blocked because of timber, I'm going to be mad. So our next our next area of takeover is the micro actual Micronesia. And yeah, I can't believe we already got that. So and then there's this island right over here, Marcus. We can't actually go towards it, but that's really cool. That's really, no, that's, I'm seriously saying that's really cool that we're starting to like, colonize already and starting to actually impose our colonial might on the people and how is Africa doing uh, we have some northern Germans fighting for some land um, seems like Germany is doing a lot more um, England's not really doing that much 
and yeah, it seems like the Wilson world, world seems about right. And I have the Panama Canal, which is pretty awesome, right? Right, that's pretty awesome. That's that's still pretty awesome. Um, we're having major concerns though with our taxes because I think some of our yeah we're having it's a major we don't have enough steel okay and that's really hurting us that's really hurting our economy and our kind of being so yeah a war with uh, okay how well do you think I could do this war mm, pretty well okay all right so I guess I guess before this episode ends, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to go start loading up my troops. I'm going to go launch everyone on the Hawaiian Islands. All of my army. Which is fairly big now. And then we're going to go see what we can do about conquering um, Korea. Let me just wait. Because right now this, this iron thing is going to be hurting us. It's killing our economy now. Yeah, it's killing our economy. Without the irons, without iron being made, we are dying. And some people are actually taking taking advantage of my welfare. Good job, people. You guys are the greatest country in the world. Okay. So let's see. Venezuela is now starting to become under my mitts. Let's keep increasing our popularity with the Venezuelans. Okay. Next, you guys go pick up. Go pick up my bigger army. Over here, I'll go right there. Let's, yeah, let's go. Let's just go combine with our with our um, cannon brigade. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to seriously worry about Canada's welfare. Fact factory output that kind of helped us a little bit with our factory output. Um. It isn't exactly what we need though. I think we're going to need to get steel turbine to get mining and factory output much more efficient. I'm going to go send these guys to the Bay of Halflax. I'm going to go get these guys over here too. And just in case if we don't have enough ships, I'm going to start building some steamers. About four steamers should be enough to make sure that we have enough for all these guys. And we are building more and more furniture sales. I'm going to have to decrease. I'm going to have to stop subsidizing all these factories. Because we're not making. To keep our Canadian sovereignty great. We're going to have to collapse some of these factories. Because it's not. They're not making me money. There's no point in having them. And. Uh, okay. So let's see. Yeah. It seems like some of these factories have already collapsed. And this is about six. Nine. Okay, so we just need about two, so just build two of these. And, yeah. A machine parts factory collapsed. Um, I'm sorry, but I can't support anything nowadays. So let me just move this away. Because of the steel. It's because of our steel. We can't produce anything without steel. Hmm. And our factories are definitely not doing good right now. Hmm. We definitely have enough capitalists here now, so we don't need to keep encouraging capitalists. Clergymen, do we have enough now? Yes, we have enough in our cl We have enough people now reading for us to like. So we should move our national focus from that to being immigration. No, I'm going to encourage immigration actually in my main area, because that's really where I should be encouraging it. And, hmm. We need to encourage, I'm encouraging Quebec more craftsmen. There we go. Okay, and Latons, Laton, Santo Relations, okay, demonstrations, whatever. Okay, and we're going to wait for uh, this fleet to build up. And, at the same time, now that we are, now that I think I'm going to do this at the very end of the episode, I'm um, going to go to Korea, Korea, and... If we take the full amount of infamy, we will not recover. That's This is a scary thought, but we will not recover if we take the full amount of infamy. So we're going to have to hope that we can get past this without getting the full amount of infamy. War between Austria and and Italy again. I don't know. I think Aust Italy is just being a jerk now. They're just trying to get as much as they can. Um, 
Italy. Let's see, what does Italy want? They want Istra. Ali wants South Toll. And then Belgium wants to humiliate Italy. So, a lovely system we have so far. Um, Venezuela is slowly becoming within my midst or influence. So, as you know, the Canadians have now proven themselves a great power. They have a couple things collapsing. Um, okay, we have to keep we have to keep our our small arms factory strong and and thriving because that's the only thing keeping us and our industry alive. Like if we don't have that, then we definitely cannot live. It's a hard decision, but yeah, that's basically it. And okay, now they're actually start. Okay, now they're actually starting to build this stupid port, which means maybe we can start expanding into other Micronesia places and start colonizing a little bit better. And, okay, we took 6.2 infamy. That means, yes, we did not go over our limit, which means we can still the fear of Serbia, solar eclipse, the more of Asterix and all these other places. So that means, um, mm, that means the conquest of Korea will go about without incident. Um, do I not have enough? Oh, I guess I didn't combine them. Let's do that. Let's go on the boat. To Korea. To Korea, everyone. Business regulations. Sure. That's good. Okay. And Hawaii again is making up its it's making its new naval base so we can start expanding into all these places. Doesn't seem like they're really interested, particularly interested in this place. Seems like seems like only Um France and Netherlands are really only interested in over here, which is good. Which means we might be able to steal something. And of course Netherlands stole the rest of that place. What are you talking about? I'm just saying yeah, I'm just saying that in a very weird way because that seems like what would happen if they were saying that so anyways that I'm looking at our population gain and a lot of our people we actually have a 33 35 percent of them are animalist huh. and Native Americans have actually become I don't know what happened to Native Americans and I don't know what happened to our French Canadian what happened to our French Canadian? What the heck happened to French Canadia? Okay, that's weird. What happened to them? Seriously. Like, I'm not joking. What happened to them? Because I know we had about 35% of our people were French Canadian. And I know that should not just vanish because we have the Russians now starting to poke up. So, what happened to our French Canadian? I... I guess this mystery will have to be left for next time, everyone. See you guys next episode.